Hello, my loves. Welcome to Taurus Truth Tarot, where we are all Taurus all the time. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. My name is Shannon Colleen. I am a Taurus Sun and Venus, and we are very happy to have you here. Before we get started with a reading for today, I do want to mention that, yes, I am available for personal readings and Reiki sessions. So if you are interested in hearing directly from your angels, guides, and ancestors, there is a link in the description box below and in the pinned comments where you can click on my booking site and you can book your reading. If you've gotten a reading from me, please let them know how you enjoyed it. And let's see what our overall energy is for the day. Divine Source Creator, what is the overall energy for this reading? Show us clearly what is the overall energy for this reading. Bad I'm not taking because that was me. <laughs> I always know when it's me. So let's see what we have here. Show me clearly. Ooh, we've got two cards. Two cards. All right, let's see what we have. Well, I love Treasure Island and I love Loyal Heart. Wow. So... <laughs> Oh, my loves, my loves, my loves. Uh, this is going to go two different ways for you um, because it's a general reading. A lot of you are trying to manifest different things. If this is love that you are trying to manifest, somebody is going to come in very strongly who is very loyal to you. They see you. They see through you. And I don't mean that in a bad way. I mean that in a good way. They see right through you to your soul and they are in it for the long haul okay i always love the treasure island card because it doesn't have just you know the stars and the money it's got hearts all over it so this is a very big abundant love and if it's not love for you this is loyal clients a loyal boss you being a loyal boss you being the entrepreneur you being loyal to your desires to your manifestations here um, and whatever this is that you're trying to obtain, it's here for the long run. And I do mean the long, long run. Because whenever I see the sea turtles, sea turtles live to like 150 years old, you know. That is a lifetime, more than a lifetime usually, right? <laughs> so there is definitely something very, very loyal, very beautiful, very abundant that is coming in no matter what it is you're trying to manifest it's on its way it's almost here i love this energy i absolutely was I, you know i never know what to expect that's for sure but i'll tell you not all these cards are necessarily good right and these are two very very good cards here i am loving this so let's see what we have in the tarot Angels, guides, ancestors, show me clearly. This is, um, although it will have a new, <clears throat> a new love feeling, all the excitement of a new love, this is old energy. So it doesn't have to be romantic. I mean, we have love of money. We have love of what we do for a living. <clears throat> we have a lot of love in our hearts. But I will tell you, that this is like old energy with the owls wisdom for some of you you've done this in a past life like i swear to you once i picked up tarot uh i knew i had done it in a previous life it came that easy i just knew um and this can be like i said romantic for some of you if that's what you're looking for and it would be like you've been with the this person in previous lifetimes so this is not a fly by night kind of thing right this is something that lasts a long time a lifetime I love it all right let's see what we have here in the tarot angels guides ancestors for Taurus. what is the message here thank you wow you cannot make that up again this is going to be romantic for a lot of you i know a lot of you aren't looking for that but it still applies right uh, you guys if you've been here for a while thank you so much if you're new thank you where i'm going with this is if you've been here for a while you know i talk about soulmate energy being uh, yes, romantic friendships, family, pets, homes, yes, homes, businesses, your careers, that's all soulmate energy, okay? Things that you're meant to do or uh, people you're meant to be with. So this is very strongly coming in. And remember, like I said, it's not just the old souls. There's passion there, right? 
there is a lot of passion passion for what you do what you're creating what you're selling whatever it might be um and it just feels very natural it feels very very natural okay <laughs> so i'm loving that ah oh, show me clearly what is the message here thank you yeah you've been really conjuring this up you have been really Taurus, you have been really conjuring this up here. Queen of Cups, she's this is almost for me. Um, well, it is. I shouldn't say almost. I, I'm getting the feeling of of meditation, of visualization, of praying, of using Reiki, you know, whatever this is, whatever form of this you're doing it, that you're making it happen, it's coming from your heart. And when we manifest from our heart space, wow. I mean, major things happen. Major things happen. This is amazing. Show me clearly. Continue your spiritual practices to help this come in. Okay? Continue. Whatever that is. Meditation, getting Reiki from me, singing bowl, right? Whatever this is, keep doing it. Okay? Keep doing it, Taurus. <laughs> It works. And I often say that is, it, I know we hate this term, but it's a lifestyle, right? It is a lifestyle. Uh, doing meditation is not a one and done. <laughs> okay. Reiki is not a one and done. So there we go. Let's see what we have here. Oh my gosh. Taurus, I am so in love with this. You are putting a, the nails in the coffin of the old life. I think Taurus is done being patient. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, I don't mean it in a bad way. We know as Tauruses, we are the most patient of all the signs. We truly are. However, I think you're in the mode of, I've been patient enough. Now I'm getting what I want. And I'm going to put death to the old. I'm going to rebirth this. I might change the way I look, the way I do things, the way I manifest. Um, I might change, you know, change the dating website or get out there. Or I might change things in my business or in my resume or whatever this is for you. You're having a rebirth. You're doing it better. Okay? And you're doing it with way more intention. So this isn't the, well, yeah, I want this. I'm, I'll meditate on it on Tuesday. And then, you know, Wednesday, I don't know. You're, de you're I almost said deathly committed <laughs> to living a different way because you're done being patient. And I don't mean that in a bad way. I have to stress that. The spirit wants me to stress that. This is not, it's not like going and taking what you want but it is going and manifesting what you want in a very again intentional way it's almost like you're talking to your angels guides and ancestors and saying hey i believe in divine timing however i'm done i'm, I'm done waiting i'm working i'm working i'll rebirth i'll redo i'll restructure but i'm done so i need you to work with me here 13 is a very lucky number, my loves. Very lucky. Show me clearly. Wow, Taurus. <laughs> Show me clearly. What is the message for Taurus? What is the message for Taurus? Thank you. All right, Taurus. Look, yeah. I love it. Page of Wands. This is beautiful because it's, it's like with this restructure that you do here, this rebirth that you do here, then like out of nowhere comes the news here comes the love here comes the job offer here comes the client right it's like it comes in super fast because although you're very serious about this and you are you can always tell because i take on the energy of you guys that or the angels guides and ancestors and this is, i got a very serious tone although you're serious about it it's because you're putting joy and love into it and excitement and passion into it So it's like, hey, I don't mind working hard. I don't mind working at a relationship. I don't mind any of those things, but I have to do it with some excitement and some fun. 
I'm telling you, this news comes in and it gets you hyped up. It gets you hyped up. You're like, yes, this is what I'm talking about. Show me clearly. Wow. Show me clearly for Taurus, please. Angels, guys, thank you. Yep. I love it. The Four of Swords. So, um, this, this is all about knowing in your mind. Like, you're done with... It almost feels like, Taurus, and you can tell me in the comments, it almost feels like you're done with your mind being in control all the time. Um, rather than you controlling your mind, letting your mind control you. The worries, the doubts, you know, all the negative things. And you're like, I'm not entertaining that anymore. I am not entertaining that anymore. My mind is stable. Fours, right? Fours are about stability. I will meditate. I will rest. I will rejuvenate myself. I will no longer let my mind control what my heart's desire is. Okay? Meaning the doubt, the fear, the, you know, oh, that can never happen for me. Uh, I'm not good enough. Like all of that negative thought process. You're done with it. I just saw 1111 on the timer. doesn't mean you won't ever have a negative thought again. It just means you'll recognize it and you'll, you know, no more. I'm not going to let my mind control what my heart desires. I love that. Show me clearly, please. What is the message for Taurus? Yeah, clear communication. I don't know if you guys are seeing these. They're flipping, but they don't come out. You know I only take them if they come out. But uh, Eight of Wands, Two of Cups have flipped over. Again, soulmate energy, communication, fast results <laughs> as I drop the whole deck. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. And I almost did drop the whole deck. Let's try that again. Show us clearly. What is the message for Taurus, please? Show us clearly. Thank you. Oh, my. Boom. That's what we want. I'm not waiting anymore. I want my Ace of Pentacles. My Ace of Pentacles is my new beginning. It is a gift from the universe. I'm asking you now, show me. Show me the way. Here's the new career. Here's the stable love, right? Everybody wants to see the Ace of Cups. I love the Ace of Cups. Don't get me wrong, but when we're talking long term, yeah, we want the love and the passion, but we want stability. We don't want something that's a flash in the pan, right? So here it is. So because you're doing that rebirth, because you're restructuring, because you're being even more intentional, this awesome ace of uh, pentacles comes, right? It just shows up and it's awesome. I love it. Let's see what else we have for you, Taurus. Also, if you have not <clears throat> joined our Taurus Inspiration membership, you should. Uh, things are being restructured over there, too. We are doing the 78 Days of Tarot. Uh, we also do different readings. I'm going to add more readings to the membership um, because I'm being called to. Um, so if you are part of our Taurus Inspiration, please tell them how awesome it is. Invite them to come along. We need as many Taurus as possible to get together for the next 20 years to really build this world because it is our job. We're building the new world. We are building the new world. I think that's why we're saying <laughs> I'm done with being patient. <laughs> I'm done being in the background. I'm stepping up, right? <laughs> it makes sense. Show me clearly, please. What is the message for Taurus? Thank you. All right. Yeah, meditation. Mm -hmm. Take a moment to connect to Source through quiet, reflective meditation. Really get on your game about that. No matter how you meditate, Sorry for some of you, you've heard this before. Meditation isn't always sitting in lotus position, okay? It can be doing the dishes. It can be going for a walk in nature. It could be swimming. Meditation comes in your form. Very quickly, I will tell this story again about a dear, dear, good friend of mine. She's a marathon runner, an ultra marathon runner. Crazy woman. I love her. Um, but I would never do that in a million years. And she called me up and she's like, this was a long time ago. And she's like, I can't meditate. I can't quiet my mind. I keep trying to keep trying. And I started laughing at her and she's like, why are you laughing at me? And I said, because you meditate every day. She goes, no, I try to. I said, no, you do. And she goes, what are you talking about? I said, you're a runner. You run every day. 
whether it's two miles, 10 miles, 26 miles, you run every day. And that's where you get clear minded. And it would hit her like a ton of bricks. Oh my gosh, yes, I do. So don't fall for the meditation has to be this. It's great. I do this, right? Lotus position, 30 minutes. It's great. But don't limit yourself to that is the only one and only definition of meditation, okay? We have bombed up light. It is time to reveal your radiant light to the world. What did I just say? I just said we're no longer the wallflower. We're no longer in the back of the room. We're stepping up and stepping forward because it is Taurus time to do that. So with that being said, my loves, all of my love, light, and blessings to you until next time.